If you know the ratio of students to teachers is 3 to 2 and you know there are 12 teachers, is there a way to figure out the number of students? In this lesson, you will learn to solve for missing values in a ratio problem by setting up a double number line. Before we begin, let's recall the key idea that's going to allow us to solve ratio problems. That idea is that a ratio can have equivalent ratios, just like a fraction can have equivalent fractions. So for instance, a ratio such as 2 to 1, if we decided that we had three groups with this ratio, we could also say the ratio is 6 to 3. 2 to 1 and 6 to 3 are called equivalent ratios because they express the same pattern. 1, the 2 to 1, is simply simplified. The most common mistake you're going to run into when working with these problems is probably not in the actual solving, but in the setup. So if we consider that scenario, that the ratio of students to teachers is 5 to 1, and that there are 15 teachers, you may start to draw your double number lines. And as you fill in the parts and the ratio and the information, can you spot where I have made a mistake setting up these double number lines? In the actual scenario, I'm clearly told that there are 15 teachers. But when I went through and set up the double number lines, you may have noticed that I put 15 on the student's line. That information was put on the wrong line. So while I can still solve for my question mark, the answer I get will not answer the question of how many students there are because I set up my problem incorrectly. Let's look at another scenario a bit more closely so that we can see how to set up a double number line without this error. Andy has a ratio of books to DVDs of 3 to 2 in his room. If he has 15 books, how many DVDs does he have? The first step in avoiding a common mistake is to take the time to go through and annotate. I see that my ratio is books to DVDs, it's 3 to 2, and Andy has 15 books. I want to know how many DVDs does he have. Now that I have all this information, I want to know how can I use the ratio to help set up and solve this particular problem. As we go through and solve, I like to keep a post-it note of the key information to my side so that I can refer back to it during setup and when I'm checking over whether or not my answer is reasonable. So to set up a double number line, it's exactly what it sounds like. You draw two number lines parallel on top of each other. One of them is going to represent your one part of books. The other is going to represent DVDs. When you're filling in the information, you start with the base ratio that you were given, which in this case was 3 to 2. And remember, we're going to go through and fill out these double number lines until we see that Andy has 15 books. That's the stopping point that we're looking for, because at that point, we'll know how many DVDs he had when he had 15 books. So as we're going through and filling out the double number line, you'll want to remember that ratios express a key pattern that's constant. So if we had not one group of three books and two DVDs, but we had two, we would end up with six books and four DVDs. If we had not two groups, but three groups, we would end up with nine books and six DVDs. And we can continue this pattern, so on and so forth, until we get to the point where we have 15 books and 10 DVDs. And we can then answer that when Andy has 15 books and 10 DVDs, that fits the scenario that we were given because we wanted to know how many DVDs he had 
when he had 15 books. Let's look at this double number line all filled out again so that we can review a key idea of ratios. You may have noticed that along each line we were increasing by 3 each time and along the DVDs we were increasing by 2 each time. So this pattern is considered additive reasoning because the books and the DVDs are increasing at a constant additive rate. Now you may remember that there is a faster way than to add 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Can you think of a faster way to get from 3 to 15 instead of this repeated addition? You may remember that multiplication is repeated addition. So multiplying 3 times 5 would do the same work, just faster. In theory, we can then multiply by 5 for the DVDs as well. And 2 times 5 will in fact equal 10. This is considered multiplicative reasoning. It's based on the same concept as additive reasoning, it's just faster. In this lesson, you have learned to solve for missing values in a ratio problem by setting up a double number line.